Cillian, welcome to my art channel. In this video, I'll show you how to paint a gladiolus flower in oil color. Enjoy! So to start off our gladiolus, we'll make a very long stem. That is a very significant part of this flower, that it has a very long stem. It's the tallest of a bunch of flowers if you buy it in a bouquet. And they have very long straight leaves, so we'll add one of those as we go. I'm using a mixture of sap green and brown with a touch of permanent green to lighten it a little bit. It's nice when there are different color streaks. It adds more depth and personality to the picture. And you see that little stalk over there has a bud that is unopened. And now, instead of just drawing straight down, we will put areas of where the stem is and leave blank where we, we want to put our flowers. Now this gladiolus is starting off horizontal and going down vertically, drooping down towards the bottom of the painting. So we will accordingly put our stem facing downwards, adding along as we go. The largest flowers are towards the top of the picture, which is actually the bottom of the stalk of the flower, and going downwards, which is really going up the stalk, they get smaller and smaller. I will just darken that stem. And for the first layer, we'll take white and we'll put that in as an indication of where the petals are in a few layers so that we'll get a nice opaque petal instead of seeing through the stem underneath. We'll add a few layers of white and then we'll have on a few sides, the petals coming out in different directions. Gladiolus is a very beautiful flower. It comes in all different colors. And the petals are quite intricate. The way I painted them is a faster way of painting. That does not show all the intricacies that one can if one would spend quite a while painting one. So as we go along, the petals will gradually get smaller and smaller. Since it is half open, and even if it was fully opened, the bottom is still usually larger than the top. If it's fully open and growing out of the ground, then I think they are all the same size in the end. So here you see we picked up some of the green from underneath. And that gives our <laughs> petals a little greenish hue, which was add some interesting color over there. So these less opened ones towards the top have a more of a bell shape. And we're working our way downwards or upwards, adding more stem as we go along to fill in the parts that were not stemmed before. So here at the very bottom there are the smallest flowers. Just 
just in plain white. With whatever green you pick. Now make sure that you have as much white as you want for these flowers before we add the color on top. Once we add the color on top, we cannot really change anything. So be sure that whatever white, however direction you want the petals to go, however dark white you want them to be, add everything now. Before we add the color on top, put in all the white that you want to have. So we did that with a small round brush. And now we're going to take a fan brush. And with two different shades of red. I used crimson and permanent red. And I dipped it in both. I first touched the top of the petals. And then, dipping in once again to the paint, I gently pulled it from the tips of the petals towards the base of the petal. So, although the flowers in this painting are somewhat upside down, I worked from down to up. The strongest color is at the tips of the petal, and it goes gradually weaker towards the base. And I did that successively with, with each petal, starting from the edge, dipping in again to get more paint on the fan brush, and just drawing it over very, very gently over the petal to get those streaky lines that show the veins and all the detail of the flower. And we can even use the edge of the fan brush to show different petals next to each other, make a separation between them for the more, for the half open ones. Now coming towards the fully or more opened ones, we put a touch at each edge of each petal. Since they are open, there's more petals showing, and they open in different directions. So we'll work from the edge of each one, move towards the center, towards the base of the petals, where it's attached to the stem. Make sure to follow the, the, the way that it grows from the tip of the petal down towards the base. And you'll have to go around. It's not straight. It, it, it curves. So, starting at the tip, you sort of go in a half moon shape and land in the center. Here we go once again for the last set of petals. Touch the edge with a lot of paint on the tip of the fan brush. And once that's settled down, dip in the paint again and draw that down towards the center. Fan brushes are very useful for many details. They are worth investing in if you plan on painting a lot. So as you can see, I'm touching it very, very lightly, trying not to get much paint down forcefully, just to draw lines over the white so that it looks like the lines of the petals. If it's too complicated for you to do it upside down, turn the canvas around, face it however it's easiest for you to to move your arm, but make sure to get it in the right direction. There I added a little bit more on the bottom. I wanted a few more petals, very small ones since they're near the top of the flower. They're really just buds. So I put down more green stock, more white, and just a touch of pink. And for some highlights along the stalk, since the stalk has sort of 
overlapping areas because it grows in different directions along the way. So I put in some lighter green parts to show that layered effect. And we're almost finished, but we want to add on to our stem or a nice long stalk. We'll give it another leaf on the side. Sorry, Mr. Lotus, we'll cover you up a little bit. And we'll just give it a fuller effect by giving it another leaf. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Check out my other flower videos. And enjoy the colors.